Part of becoming more at home in the outdoors is learning essential skills that help you stay comfortable and safe. Fire starting is one of the most basic, yet incredibly important skills to learn. A campfire will provide you with light and warmth, cook your food, and potentially scare off predators that lurk in the night, or at least make you feel safe. Today, we're practicing multiple fire starting techniques ranging from magnesium bars to a magnifying glass. It's important that you know how to start a fire without a Bic lighter or a book of matches. In a survival situation, knowledge is key to making it out alive. Ooh, slip and slide. What the heck, dude? Oh, ooh, dude, look at that tree right there. It's like a cinematic tree. Maybe we could go there. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Ow. Be like a donkey to get <laughs> I know. Burro. Yeah, this place looks good. Look. Hey. Dude, look at the bark on the tree, too. You could totally use that. Super dry. We got some uh, dead yuccas down there. Yucca. I mean, we don't need a lot though, right? Like, cause we're not, we're not building fires. We're just testing fire making skills. So I figure enough of this kind of like tinder or whatever, you know, we don't need a lot of it, right? Yeah. What about this stuff here too? What do you think of uh, some of this dead, oh, this dead yucca? Is this like fibrous and stuff? Like there's all sorts of fibers and stuff. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, really fibrous inside. We could use some of that. That looks good to right? me. Dude, this stuff is dry and super, like, look at that. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's really good. That's actually better than this stuff here, for sure. We'll definitely collect some of this stuff. Let's start some fire. We don't need that much, though. That should be enough. All right, well, this is a, a fire kit. So most survival outdoor people and every book that we've read recommends a fire kit. Uh, it's just so you're prepared for any situation. So I'm gonna go over this kit in here. A number one most important thing, you know, we're here to practice bushcraft. So we're not, we don't wanna use this. This is the easiest way, but you'd be stupid if you didn't keep this in your kit. If you're going outdoors, if you're going hiking or whatever, of course, you're gonna bring a Bic. The problem with a Bic too, if you're in colder areas, uh, below freezing, these things have a real hard time uh, lighting up. So these things don't work that well. Um, I got a cup, because we're gonna be doing magnesium. So it's good. It's a good idea that when the magnesium shavings, which you use the actual uh, back of your knife to scrape it off, and I might actually use this because this is sharper, the filings from the magnesium are so fine they blow uh, around in the wind and we it is actually getting windy now so we use this to to put them in there this one here i've always loved this is what meaty uses all the time it is ginormous it is one of the biggest ferro rods i've seen out there it's got a great handle it's got paracord on there so it's uh, it's like two uses but you can really get a good grip on this and get tons of sparks from that and look how thick that thing is i mean you get lots of uses from that it's a thick one it's it's a really good one i really like that one there it's got some girth so actually and i'll show you this there's a, a piece of fatwood of course uh, if you don't know what fatwood is it's impregnated with a lot of resin burns really easy burns really quick and these things, uh, ladies, if you're watching, you are aware of these. These are just tampons, and the reason why they're good, they're sealed in containers, and they burn really well. You could even make char cloth out of it because it's a cotton base, so they're actually really good. And of course, this is uh, Vaseline. It's petroleum. Again, another fuel source. Anything to help you in it. That, this, if you're just going camping, you don't have to really worry about it. You've got control, but out here, you need anything that's gonna help you in a situation, so definitely with that. I got this one from a, just an outdoor store. Same thing as this, but you can see the difference. Like this thing is just monster size. This should do the same job and we're gonna test it out and we're gonna use both and it comes with a scraper. So 
should be uh, pretty easy to use. Now here's a thing that's very, very important. These are both magnesium rods, or, or whatever they call it. Do they call them rods? Magnesium bars. bars I think yeah. bars. So they come with flint on the side. This one is actually a little bit thicker than this one, but you can see there's a huge difference between the two. Coloring, coloration, Coloring. everything. Here's a problem, and this is a, an actual problem. You need to test these before you go out and think that they're gonna work because there are Chinese knockoffs, and, I, and I'm sure there's other companies, but the ones that I'm aware of are Chinese companies that don't either use any magnesium or very little, and it's super hard to burn. So this one is, um, I don't know you know Coglins. Coglins, yeah. So it's a well-known camping. You see those in, in a lot of uh, outdoor stores. You know, if you're in Canada, Canadian Tire carries all that stuff. The other stuff we have, again, just more more stuff like tampons and stuff. I know, it, I know it seems a little weird, but that stuff could save your life. Now finally, and you've seen us do this before, flint and steel. This stuff here, you know, is, is so helpful. It's so incredibly crazy effective. This jute turns into fibers. This char cloth will take any spark. You don't need a flame. You get a spark on this stuff, it's going, you got yourself a fire. And finally, we're also gonna, I love this tin. I love this tin. It comes with an actual magnifying oh, glass. Nice. So you use the magnifying glass in conjunction with the char cloth and within 10 seconds of full sunlight, you've got yourself, or even less than that, you've got yourself a fire. So we're gonna test all these out and we're gonna figure out what our favorite is and we're just gonna stick with it, you know what I mean? So are you sitting on a booster chair so you can be taller than me? Is that what this is? I have grown! He's sitting on his tarp. Hey, it's you've, you've got your little cushiony fancy pants thing. Okay, your choice. You can choose the Coglins or this, I don't even know Give where this is Give me the bad from. one. What we think might be the bad one. I don't think this is the bad, this is a American made. Uh, well, I'll take either one, I'll take yeah. the. So I don't know, maybe if none of them are. This are... one is manufactured by Doan Machine and Equipment Company in yeah. uh, South Euclid somewhere. Shaving edge on that side or whatever, so. Okay. And, and then you're this, gonna this go is a ferrule rod on this side. Yeah, yeah, okay. should, it, you should be able to, I'm gonna actually take this And side. yours is the Coglins brand, which is like Sportsman's Warehouse. Yeah, you know, it's Places everywhere. like that, it's, it's the, you know, it's the lower grade stuff, but when, when that's all you have access to, I've used some Coglin stuff. Now you should be able to use, like, well, some of them come with this, which is the oh. scraper for this, but you should be able to scrape. That has like a, like a saw tooth on it yeah, pattern. Yeah, for this. Wow. That's crazy. It's fantastic. You're gonna go right on there. I'm gonna use a natural catch, like this flat part here. Yeah, yeah. Because in combination with the filings, that I have stuff here, maybe it'll go up. Yeah, or maybe the wind won't take it. Ruin oh, everything. the wind? Yeah, that's why I use See, I'm going to use my knife. All right, let's scrape it up. My filings are going everywhere. <laughs> they look, that looks good though. That looks like qual, it, it looks almost the same. That looks like magnesium though. And I did research on this one. This one is supposed to be a really good one. It's in a, um, I believe an American company. America! I'm wow, getting some so, going everywhere. They're so fine and the wind really Yours picks are them big. Up, right? I, I shouldn't, like look how try, fine try mine the are. knife. Look at the back of this thing. Yeah. Listen to that. Yeah, that's scraping like huge. It, it's like digging in. I don't, you know what the problem is with this, the back of this knife is not, uh, is not as, Sharp as that. Actually, I do have that edge on here too. I don't want to blade out. You know, it, it's not. It's not like I read that in a book. It just makes sense. Like I'm blade out, so I don't slice my leg or something. Yeah. You always got to be careful when working in this region here. Yeah. Well, yeah, because your arteries are in here. Yeah, like that's, femoral arteries. You bleed out like someone sliced. I use my. Sure. I use my forearms here, and I get. I get my workspace out in front of me. How much do I get of this stuff? I have no idea, dude. Enough to... Look. Yeah, like you look, that looks like you got enough there, dude. Can I try mine? So how much I, you got? I'm gonna keep going and maybe if you want... You want me to just try it? Yeah, you can, you can give that a shot. Oh yeah, look at that. That one just lit up. It, like put some of the, uh, what, did we have, didn't we get any bark here? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Beauty, dude. You beauty. Could, ah! <laughs> dude, you could do that's a ready to go right yeah. there. So if you can find something, if it's really windy, the cup is it's it's a must. If it's not and you can find something flat, 
this is like, is this yucca? Yeah, that's yucca. yucca. Dried yucca. It was dried and it was fibrous in the middle, and that's where I was trying to throw the shavings on. And it, man, that thing went up. I, has anyone out there ever, when you were younger and stupid, <laughs> did you ever throw, like, break up a Volkswagen block, the engine, and throw it in the campfire when you're out in the dunes? We used to. You threw it a Volkswagen block? Well, you break it because the block is way too much. You break it, it's magnesium. What? The, you the take block a whole, is magnesium? Why you, would you build it out of magnesium? You take a whole chunk of it and throw it in the fire. Yeah. And it it's like blinding. It's like looking at a welder. Okay, so that this this works. This is a good block. Yeah, yeah. So again, manufactured by Doan Machine and Equipment Company. Do you remember where you got this one? Uh, I believe I got it off Amazon. Okay. Hey, there you yeah. go. Yeah, Doan, really high quality, obviously high magnesium, legit magnesium. Yeah, it worked okay? really legit. good. All right, I'm going to try mine. Okay. All right, let's see if this stuff is any good. I'm assuming this is going to be good, though, because it's a well-known name, right? Yeah, I would think so. It, it looks weird. It reminds me of machine class in high school. Yeah, with all the shavings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want them to fall out. All right, and I'm going to use the scraper that they provided oh, as yeah, well yeah. to see if that actually works. I can see red on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they're... Oh, different. oh, oh. It was, had a good one down in there. There you go. There goes. you go. There you go. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Look at the... See, you guys see that when it puts off, though? That put that all all over me, too. Nice. But that works. Yeah, so it's good brand. But this one here, you, I mean, just... I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe this is just like a coating to keep it. Maybe. But that... I mean, but you can see I chunked it pretty good. Yeah. So isn't the idea behind these, right? We have ferro rods by themselves, yeah. but the idea is the magnesium gives you something it's like fuel. if you're out of fibrous things in yeah. that area. It doesn't need it. You right. get a spark on, on magnesium, you could have small twigs. It burns so hot. Yeah. I, I can't, if I set a degree, it's like thousands of degrees. It burns so hot that, oh yeah, that's a good spark too. Yeah, right? yeah, it's good. I use my, so we're gonna use ferro rods now? I got my little kit. I brought my kit with me, so. Oh, you got, yeah, your kit's a lot so this, nicer. This one, Why'd you give me this like, Friggin, uh, I started with YMCA one like that. mesh bag, but then I found this. I don't know if Kifaru. I want to put stuff in it or wear it. Look at it's this. gonna be great. Kafaru, it's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yours is always nicer. So look at this. It's got chunky over the years, but uh, this is this has been. Uh, it's not the only. This thing. is four years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you. S <laughs> you s <laughs> do I have any of the magnesium on my face like you do? Do I have magnesium? Right here, on this side. Yeah, there you go. That's it. It was a little. Hold on, hold on. We're like monkeys picking up. <laughs> I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat that. Okay, so Feral Rod, you've got a North Forty Nine, just like your again the standard. Okay. Shop or. There's a. I uh, see. You know, I see a lot of Amazon no. stores everywhere. Light My Fire brand. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's about the same width, but what a little they bit call shorter. It Swedish Steel or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Light My Fire is the is the brand. This thing we've used, we know that's good. Yeah. This, I don't know, and I'm using, it comes with a scraper. It's Again, the same it's type of straight scraper as the other yeah. one. It's got um, like a sawtooth on it, right? Yeah. Okay, so I've got uh, dried yucca that I found on the ground and some kind of, maybe some bark. Yeah, you got some bark. Where was that bark? Did you just grab it from that tree there or something? No, that was that, it was oh, right there on the that ground. Stuff. It's, this is paper thin stuff too, so this should be good. I would imagine any of these sparks really get in here, any, we don't really need too much. Yeah. I'm gonna get that away there. Yeah, like, come on, man. That rod is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This thing here, too, what I don't like is it's, you know, I can't. A lot of those, it's I short, right? I can't get in there. Like, I mean, I may try with my knife and everything like that. I'm but... on fire over here. Like, that one showers. There's so many sparks that it yeah. throws. Come on, man. I'm gonna try my knife actually. The problem is this back of my knife is not sharp like yours. Try, just try this out just for just for giggles. Yeah, like that that feels almost like you could cut like yourself you on can. it. You gotta be careful with the back of your knife. Like it makes anything throw sparks. Well, it could make a marshmallow throw sparks. <laughs> Here, I, I've given up on this. You try it. Let me try it with your that thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Try the the scraper. I, I mean, oh it, yeah, yeah. That's why I I really like your ride because you. I mean, it's so big. That sounded really bad. <laughs> he, he just said, "I really like your rod because it's so big." <laughs> Dude, you can't make this stuff up. Here, you count it out. You can't make this stuff up. Pound this anything here so I don't cheat with a fire ready. That yucca, it, it's like yeah, I didn't even. Good. You know, you you get your fire going, you're all scrambling. That yucca just sat there and burned. Yeah. Oh. Niels, 2018. That, that was good. That's, there's, there's a legit meme for you right there. Oh no. Okay, so I'll, I I'll like your rod. It's so big. Now you're getting right in there. You might get something. Like you did one. You did one thing and it lit. This thing hurts my hand. I know it's it's, it's not like a. You know what? It looks like a cut off uh, hacksaw, uh, hacksaw blade. blade. Yeah. All right, let me try this thing then. You should get good sparks on. It's the it's this knife. Yeah, that blade on that knife. Yeah, but I was using your knife. I didn't get it lit. So one of the things about this is a stainless one. I'd yeah. rather have carbon steel, but mm. this is their new Garberg more. Yeah, full tang. And even the back. Yeah, like look at that. It's ridiculous, right? It's just easier to hold the 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 larger one. Like these look, things this here, here is so I, big. I'm pin. I just pinching it here. Yeah. Where this one, I you get a you grip. really feel like you got a grip yeah, on here. Yeah. Yeah, you got like a handle. So this this is definitely doable. It's it's much lighter weight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but this the length of this you'd have to. I'd probably take this off and make something where it's detachable. Yeah. Maybe one of those spring clips. Yeah, but listen, if you can get a hold of something this this big. Yeah. <laughs> You're, I think like, every time I'm describing this, I just like I can't describe it normally. If you can get hold of something this big with two hands. You don't let it go. You hold on to it. You marry it. So <laughs> this thing here though. Uh, it's additional weight, but yeah. fire is so important in survival yeah. and outdoor yeah. that this weight is worth. Yeah. You know, it's worth that extra weight that you're going to carry because it's just and how many strikes you get. You're you may even break this. Yeah. You could even break and, that. And and in addition to that, whatever knife you choose, make sure it's got a nice 90 degree spine yeah, on it. Yeah. Sharp, sharp. You on can it. you can rub your spine and get bark. You can strip bark off yeah. something, and then you can just rip can into a ferro rod. Oh yeah. What, what I wanted to see, like this one here, this knife that I got, which is a new one, it's a Helle uh, Utver. It's a Utver knife that's uh, a Swedish uh, or Norwegian. No, it's a Norwegian knife. So this, although it's nice and it's pretty and it is a good knife. Oh, it's a nice knife. But there's certain features that that is actually better and that is considerably cheaper than this. I got this for $75 on Amazon. I got this for I'm not going to say how much. Yeah. <laughs> That's how much I got this, this but this it's back beautiful. This one but... is really sharp. Yeah, yeah. Like I can use this. Yeah. Like here, scrape the back of this then with the that. It should be fine. I just I wish I could use the back of the the knife like what you did. Yeah, so I yeah, mean, it's, that's perfect. Yeah, it's nice and sharp. This is yeah, sharp, and really, I know that's yeah. what you use it, but I would like a sharper. Like, it's like they've kind of made it nice yeah. to polish it. It doesn't right? take much to round that over, but no, there is I'll a grind downside. This side. You gotta be that. aware that the back of your knife has a right edge on it. Yeah. If I pulled across, oh, yeah, you could cut, you'll cut yourself. yourself. I'm definitely grinding this down. Yeah. I'm gonna get a, a nice sharp edge on yeah. that, make it more productive. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna try out of this little brass kit here and use the magnifying glass I'm gonna try it on some of this stuff first before we try it on just straight up cloth. just magnifying glass on natural I like that that tin kit has it you know oh I see, see smoke see smoke ready yep you may not even have to blow on that the winds just gusting yeah it's like staring into a welding torch, though. Oh, bright, eh? Yeah, it's really bright. Is it catching at all? It's it starts like to it's go, getting a little bit of burn, yeah. but not. What I can tell you is, like with the fiber, it's yeah. hard to see how how magnified I'm getting. You know, going yeah. in too yeah, close, yeah. Yeah. too far away, and then the wind is moving my little the little thing that I'm trying to catch around. Yeah, see here, yeah, see yeah. where it's smoking right there. Yeah. It's actually smoking a lot. Um, well, now let's try I'm it. Let's try the, a piece of char cloth. Yeah. The, so the kit is meant to be magnifying glass and char cloth. You don't want to like push. I've got yourself. a really small piece yeah. here. So dig that maybe underneath some of that stuff, right? Yeah. 
because if you get the light a pinpoint in underneath it should it's supposed to be super easy with char cloth right what I can tell you is when there's wind it's a lot harder because it it moves your fine fibers around yeah and I see a lot of smoke already yeah You know, the char cloth, look at the char oh, cloth the is gone. Oh, the char cloth burned. It, it, I had it going, more, but because the thing is so bright, yeah. I couldn't see, and it was burning the char cloth uh, away. And then by the time I, w I went in yeah. there, like, wait a minute, the char cloth is gone. All right, try another piece. Try the other piece, or the same one. Put another chunk of char cloth in there. I mean, again, this is like almost worst case scenario. You wouldn't use a magnifying glass if you had other options available. Yeah, I agree. But it's it's one. It's fun to yeah. to practice yeah. it. But it's also to, to at least have done it one time. Yeah, yeah. To say, uh, you know, I did it. Yeah. I can maybe. Um, I heard you can do it with ice. Yeah. Well, I heard even with a, a bottle full of water as well. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Anything that can magnify yeah. it, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, there, see, there. the whole yeah. thing's going, but it's in the bright yeah. sunlight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice, dude. So the the very unique thing about this is because you need to be in the sunlight, right? Yeah. The whole char cloth was was lit, but I couldn't see it because the so light bright. is so yeah. intense. Yeah. But then also when I come back, it was on fire this close to me, but I couldn't see. But look at that. It's yeah, nice. That's again Legit. the 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 yucca just to dry. No prep to that yucca either. It was just it was fibrous on the inside, but. There it is. That's with char cloth and the magnifying glass. I'll, that was. It's kind of fun to do, though. It's really neat. So, what did you like? What's your assessment of this? I mean, I think the number one thing is have a kit. A kit. A, like have a kit to cover any possibility. You know, obviously this is the easiest. You want to go out there and you want to have fun. You know, have a kit and experiment with this stuff. Have the magnesium, like it's in the fatwood and, and all this stuff like this. These are like makeup pads, which serves the same purpose as one of the, the I like tampons. I, I switched from the tampons to the makeup pads. Yeah. With, I got a little thing of Vaseline. Oh, yeah. It, it acts like a candle. You smear it on there yeah. and you get a spark on there and it, it'll burn for a while. It gives you time to get it into and your I'm, fire And I'm almost positive that this one, which we didn't make this char cloth, which we will be making our own. But this char cloth oh, yeah, it's got the is the same as that. It's shrunk down. I think they made char cloth out of those makeup pads. So, But we're going to even try and make our own as I well. I even have but... some dryer lint in here. Oh, yeah. Any of that stuff there. Have a kit that has everything. I think the easiest, not the easiest, other than a lighter, is having one of these with some char cloth just in case. So but my, you don't even really need My favorite is the, the ferro rod. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm warming up to the whole char cloth idea because if we can make our own char cloth, yeah. it's it's something that we can reproduce while we're maybe cooking dinner or yeah. something like yeah. that, right? If you have those pads, if you have a sock, you have anything caught in a t-shirt, you could cut a piece off just in case if you're in a situation and you got a fire going. But to do that, well, we'll show you on another video, you need a tin and you need a tin that that seals up. Oh, I yeah. wouldn't make it with this nice brass one, but right. you know, you could totally do that. But I think this with char cloth, because once I've seen you try and do a fire with this, mm -hmm. and you've obviously every time get a fire, but yeah. sometimes it took a lot. Yeah. But with a little bit of char cloth, if that'd be easy. If you can't find the fibrous ah, material, dude, it's like boosh, done. Yeah. Done, and you got yourself a fire. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. I know I, I enjoyed talking about these big rods, but you know, <laughs> this is fun. Like we're, we're practicing different things. Yeah. Uh, if it it's not fun. something that we're going to continue using, at least we attempted it yeah. and had success with it one time. Yeah, and we were exactly. We know how it. to use it. I think that's important too. If you want to go out and do this stuff, practice using it. And that's what we're doing. We're not experts by far. This is the first time we've done a lot of this stuff. First we've, time I've used the, the magnesium, the magnesium block and the, and, the sun. And the, yeah. The magnifying glass. Yeah. It's such a simple thing, but yeah. you know, it's it fun. Awesome. It's fun to, it's fun to try. You yeah. guys should go out and try it yourself. You can do it with some very, very inexpensive items. All right, let's pack up. Well, let's get out of here.